years ago, Patrick Doyle never would have imagined he'd be running in a race like this. I have a crack here. Originally from Ireland, he was on the job in Brampton when a 10-ton piece of metal slammed into his right side. It split his skull and broke some bones, and doctors amputated his right leg. Originally they said one day he was going to make it through the night, which I made it. And then someone said, we give him 10 days, which I made it. He rejected the doctor's diagnoses and decided he wouldn't just learn to walk again, he would run a marathon. I just said, no more wheelchair, that's for, I got a leg, I'm going to use my leg. This is Doyle's first race since the accident, a 5K St. Patrick's Day fundraiser for people with disabilities. Now, as if going from zero to this wasn't amazing enough, what's also amazing is that some of the people who helped him get here are going to be running in this race with him. So tell me about Patrick. He was just great to work with. He's been working really hard, and he's probably going to beat me today. I am a little emotional, I suppose. I mean, for a guy who was two and a half years ago practically or almost dead, and now to be a guy who's sitting here with a bunch of people going to run 5K, for me, that's a big thing. His teammates' predictions were right. The guy is fast. His goal was to run 5K in 45 minutes, and he crossed the finish line in less than 30. And then what's next? But first, a chat with the founder of this race, who invited Doyle to run the New York City Marathon with him in November. An invitation he accepted right away. And this is the start, and that's the finish. Marion Warnica, CBC News, Toronto.